Hey everybody, my name is Chris Ree, and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z and Reason Studios. In this video, we will be covering the Reason instrument, Humana. The Humana is a choir-based engine. It is able to give you those ooh and ah sounds that you often hear choirs have with a very humanistic feel. Only this time in Reason, we're going to take Humana to a totally different place. So let's jump over to Reason so we can check out the Humana. I'm here in Reason where I have my file open where we're going to check out the Humana. Now most of the sounds that you're going to hear in this track have been created using Humana with the exception of two drum loop files. Everything else has been created using Humana. Let's take a listen to the track. Oh man, um, don't know what just happened there, but um, I'm back, and uh, yeah, that was the track that we created using the Humana uh, instrument. Uh, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you step by step through a few of the different instruments just so I can show you. All right, so first of all, if we were just to open up a regular Humana patch and we just wanted to hear what it typically would sound like, we would be probably greeted with something like this. And if you wanted to, you could get a little interesting and you can add a player to that. You can add a scales and chords. And now when you press one key. Now you have some chords and that would be pretty much how most people would use a choir engine, right? But of course, Humana has a lot of different patches here that they've created. And if, as you get to tweaking the different parameters inside of the device, you can get a really different sound. So it does have a filter. It has an amp uh, system it has a delay a reverb. And of course the actual samples that are built into this bank right here, and you can mix in different Humanas and you can really just go crazy crazy and just get creative. So I'll show you guys one of the sounds that I created. First of all, there's a bass note here. And that actually was created with Humana as well. So to create that bass note, basically what I did was I used this instrument here. So I use this Humana here. It just has a, a very, very low sound to it. The first thing that I did was I took the sound and I put a low pass filter on it. And I put that low pass filter pretty low to very low frequencies. I then dropped the octaves down and then I play in the low register on my keyboard. I just play one note. I then bounce that note so that I could get something that sounded a little bit more like this. All right, some of the other instruments that you hear. So here is a stock Humana sound that they have. So all this is is a Mars staccato synth bass. So they actually created a synth bass patch that you would use in the Humana choir engine. Um, and what I did was I added an arpeggio to it. The patch for the arpeggio is the Velocity Arp. So I used that patch and I just basically played one note. 
but also as you can see I have some automation happening here with the mod wheel and the frequency so the frequency is set the frequency cutoff is set to 100% so as the mod wheel goes up the frequency opens up For more of the percussion, as you can see, I'm using another Humana patch to kind of make it sound like a tambourine. And the only thing that's happening there with that patch is I have the filter cut off set pretty high with a lot of resonance. And I've also dropped down these different settings and I have some delay and some reverb. So I kind of tweak the sounds a little bit. That's all. That's what it's about. I mean, reason really is about being creative and it's about just seeing what you can do with the instruments and with the sounds. No way should I have been able to create a pseudo tambourine or, you know, percussion sound. But, you know, as you are creative and as you try to figure some things out, then you kind of figure things out and you say, OK, cool, I can do something like that and make it work for me. Same thing with this hi-hat sound. It's basically the same thing. Um, it's just sped up. Now, I really like this snare. It's kind of like a snare sound that was created. So using Humana again, um, this time no filter, but playing a very, a very low sound. I have the octave turned all the way down. And I used a pulverizer and a screen patch to kind of add in some distortion and kind of give me that crisp, transient sound that I need to kind of change the sound a little bit and make it sound like a snare. Okay, now I want to talk about this stab that I created. To create that stab sound, the first thing you need to know is that there's a scales and chord being played. The D key is being played in two different octaves. And we have filled out here all five notes on the chords and scales. So that's just to give you a fuller sound. So, you know, three notes would be a major, four notes would be a seventh, and five notes would be a ninth. Uh, so it is playing a ninth on two D keys. This is the original patch. I haven't done anything else to it. The Venus Ooh Staccato Dressed. So after scales and chords, all I did was add in a reverb and that reverb has pretty much a good amount of wet. And so after that, it just gives you this nice bright stab and we just played that out. This is a very interesting sound that was created as well. So if I zoom in a little bit here, you can kind of see that there is some automation that's happening. And I actually drew those automations uh, in. It's very, it's actually very easy to draw. Uh, you draw one all the way to the top, draw another one all the way to the bottom, and then you join those two clips. And now you have a on, off, on, off. And you can actually shrink that down. And if you turn your, if you turn your snap down, and you shrink these two together. Now you have a very quick on off and you can duplicate that and you can just keep going until you get the desired effect that you want. See, you can just keep duplicating it down. Um, so that's a very quick way that you can do some automation uh, to give you kind of the square wave automation here in Reason. Uh, but there's an automation happening here with the mod wheel again. The mod wheel frequency is set to 100. So as you apply this mod wheel, it opens and closes the frequency uh, being applied here to the filter. The filter has been cut off completely. So it just opens up that filter every time the mod wheel goes up or down. I use a scream for distortion to give it just a little bit more distortion and then the unison to kind of fatten the sound up. The only other thing that's inside of the beat is the stock reason loops and you can find those inside of the deep house in the loop supply.
party. Well, I hope that you can see that the Humana instrument can be used for much more than just a simple choir, but that you can actually get into some sound design and get creative and create a very unique sound. If you like this video, it would be awesome if you could leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please feel free to share it with somebody else so they can check out this video. And if you're looking for videos like this with tutorials for reason, then please consider subscribing because there will be many more videos coming in the near future. Thanks for watching and until next time,